pockets. Everyone. As you can see, we ain't, we ain't in, Kansas in Kansas anymore. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can tell. We're in Kyoto. I swear I can tell the difference between the scenery in Kyoto and Tokyo. I just feel like no matter where you stop, it's gonna be beautiful. Of course, when I want to talk about it. There's a lot of people walking around and stuff. I don't like bothering people with cameras. Wow. Love Kyoto. We're on our way to a cafe to get coffee. So far, my plan A, B, and C for cafes are closed, but I kind of knew that. A lot of cafes close on Mondays and Tuesdays in Kyoto. That also happens to be Ash and I's day off, Monday, Tuesday. So if you ever try to find me in these streets, I'd be out here Monday, Tuesday. But the establishments be closed. Anyways, we're going to uh, option four. I actually did not get to try this place out and it's been on my list for years, so kind of excited. I came really late last night. I'm here for business, so I'm not gonna be here very long. Pretty much only have today to do stuff kind of i think this is like the first vlog where the borders are open so yeah there's like a lot of updates going on right now i think we're like five minutes away from this cafe oh no it's right there <laughs> <laughs> all right let me get let me get my coffee clearly my brain is not on yet this place is so dope it's like super duper white and aesthetic and beautiful and i love the street that it's on y'all know i love me some good coffee isn't this beautiful all right let's get some coffee get the day going We made it to the cafe. This place is called Walden Woods. It's so freaking cute. I'm guessing the woods is because there's this random tree in the middle. Park too. Yeah, it's next to a park. And everything, uh, everything's made of wood. I got an oat milk latte. So happy because I really don't like soy lattes. They low key taste like a regurgitated fart. But if you ever want something other than cow titty milk, it's usually soy. So I'm so happy when they have oat. I love almond, but I heard we're not supposed to do that no more. So. People always be like, Sunday, why every time you vlog and there ain't nobody around? No, they be around. <laughs> Vanilla, I don't even know what these are. No joy. But they're pretty, and this one is lemon something. I'm a great vlogger. Actually, I just came back from my trip from Paris and I learned about what the name of these were, but I didn't learn how to pronounce it, so if anyone knows how to pronounce these, uh, let me know. How'd you eat this? But the texture on the outside is kind of hard and the inside is like soft and almost rubbery. It's very strange. Mmm. Is yours good? Wow. Wow. But the ones here were so good. Isn't that so satisfying? Like I was saying, I'm in Kyoto for business. I have a meeting tomorrow and then we're actually gonna just head back after the meeting. I'm gonna get home to my cat and Douglas. But yeah, this is basically like the first time, I think like vlogging when the borders are open and it is actually a significant Lee? It's actually really different. The last five times I've been to Kyoto, it's just been pure magic and like no crowds. Perfect uh, timing for the trees, for the fall leaves, for the cherry blossoms. Yeah, so we only been here like a day and a half and yeah, there's just no way I could not get people in the background. Like it's gonna be hard. See, this is how crowded it is, y'all. Usually I just talk to the camera, but like folks out here chit chatting and making noise. I had to put the mic on. But it's kind of fun, like, seeing it lively again. I hope you guys come out to Kyoto. I get why people go to Tokyo, but, like, Kyoto's just brilliant. Kyoto is the best. One of those places that it's just a vibe everywhere. Yeah. Like, every single place you go to. Even if it's, like, a busy street or a old factory building or something, there's just some sort of vibe with it. Mm. It's all more positive, right? Yeah, everyone's really positive. Everyone's like really kind and warm, welcoming, and yeah. it's very different from Tokyo. Tokyo is like just 
big city life, cold. You can have a fly in your teeth and no one will tell you in Tokyo. Has that happened to you? <laughs> a fly? <laughs> Don't be putting me on blast. Anyways, as I was saying, yeah, borders are open. It's definitely starting to get um, a little crowded. I was thinking like no one was gonna come because it's kind of getting cold, but like fall here in Japan is so freaking beautiful. Like, bro, it's definitely a time to come. I'm a little worried about the leaves. It's, it's, it's a little spicy. Like half of them are already bald and the other half are just starting. It's really messy right now. Like, I don't know what's going on. Also, I don't know if this is only for residents, but they have this really cool coupon thing going on right now. The hotel that I stayed at, they have this whole program. If you have your three doses of vaccinations, which you should have in order to even get into Japan, you can get like this huge discount. I think I got like $100 off of my room and I'm only staying two nights. I was like, that's such a good deal. But the money that you get, they give it to you in coupon forms, which is so smart. Great way to help the economy, right? Get back on its feet. Like you can only spend these over here. Can't pay your rent. See, so yeah, they look like this. Isn't this adorable? Someone saw me. Can we take this strip club? I keep forgetting to pull these things out and I keep like using cash. I'm like, dude, you need to spend these things before you go back home. Gonna drink my coffee. I think we're gonna do like one activity maybe, but we kind of don't know. Like you already know me. Your girl wanna go spend the whole day in Arashiyama, but it's kind of far from where we are and we might be in Arashiyama tomorrow. So today I think we should do something else. Also, the weather said it was gonna be super sunny today. It was raining last night. So I was expecting glorious weather, but it's actually really cloudy. So I don't really wanna go to Arashiyama with bad weather. Cause I like to be outside like the whole time. I, I want ramen. No one's surprised. Is that a bruise? Nah. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. All right, we need to figure out where we're gonna eat, what we're gonna do. It's my sweater. It's kind of chilly, and I forgot a jacket. Hoes don't get cold, especially in Kyoto. What? Hoes don't get cold. I get real cold. My favorite thing to do when traveling is just walk around, which can be even better if you have snacks. Today's video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. With the Tokyo Treat Box, you will get 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition, seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. The theme for the Tokyo Treat Box this month is Santa Snack Fest, celebrating the most wonderful time of the year with a limited edition Christmas themed box. box. Look how cute this packaging is. Salt caramel pokey, milk tea flavored Kit Kats. With the Sakurako Box, you'll receive 20 traditional, authentic artisan Japanese snack items, including Japanese tea and and my favorite part, one special Japanese tableware with your box every month. And this month, Sakurako is partnering with Tochigi Prefecture, which is known for like their beautiful waterfalls and mountains, onsens, and shrines. Love a shrine. Sakurako helps by partnering with local Japanese snack makers to continue and share Japanese culture and traditions that have been passed down for hundreds of years. Kira Tochigi Lemon Yokan. Isn't that a, no, yokai is a monster. What's a yokan? No idea. We're gonna find out. Both boxes come with an informational snack guide that will tell you everything you need to know about the snack what's in them and who makes them. Okay, let's just try. It's like jello. It's not like jello. I have no words. <laughs> it's good though. Strawberry tiramisu biscuit. Very festive. This is fire. Wanna try it? I know you do. You have a bite. Just a bite. A little bite. <gasps> what the fight? A Mao strawberry almonds. Ooh. It's like strawberry ch I just spit. <laughs> Coronavirus. <laughs> If you guys are interested, head over to the description box down below. Use my code SUNDAY to save $5 off of your first box. Also, this month is very special. They are doing a free ticket to Japan giveaway for December. Sorry, sir. Go man outside. That was a ma'am. Thank you, Tokyo Treat and Sakura Go for sponsoring today's video. There's a black Santa girl laying on the ground eating snacks. She's living her life, her best life. Spring is the season that wakes me alive And fall is the season to contemplate life Oh, yeah. I don't know What is it exactly in this time of year That makes the melancholy me reappear Oh, yeah. Back and forth Through dark roast coffee Salt mist and sea Sand Cause it still feels like summer, but it's so 
It's very crowded, actually. There's folks out. It's lively. It's a vibe. We doing stuff. We decided to go get okonomiyaki instead of ramen. I compromised. It says we're here. Nishiki Warai. Where? Maybe on the corner? Found it. This okonomiyaki spot is called Nishiki Warai. It's right in front of the Nishiki entrance for Nishiki Market. Very excited because I have not tried this style of okonomiyaki. Pretty much there's only two styles and then Nunjayaki, right? But they have their own special style. It's called Waraiyaki Okonomiyaki. Oh, that's, that's bars. Place I've never tried and okonomiyaki in a style that I've never tried. Very excited. And also, I pretty much only picked this place because I saw that they had oysters. I never even knew I loved oysters that much until Hiroshima. We got okonomiyaki, yaki soba and the oysters and some hot sake because it's freezing. I definitely prefer yakisoba with salt and not sauce because the sauce is too sweet so if I ever see salt I'm so happy. But most places have the, the sauce one. no food up because I will get so angry if somebody were to ever give me a recommendation and it wasn't good. I will fight. Don't waste my calories. It was good, but what's your rating? Rating? Seven. That's pretty good. It was really runny when it came out. Once it cooked a bit, it was better. I think I prefer normal okonomiyaki if I did it again. Pork kimchi cheese mochi. I think the quality of the kimchi could have been a bit better. Oh, that I think kimchi that was might awful. Been, that yeah, might have been the they had like chili powder in there. Like the yeah. type of chili powder you put in chili. bean chili, not like... Anyways, the place is good. Just that style, I would, I'm good. The oysters were great, the yakisoba was great, I'm very full. We're gonna go walk in the Nishiki market. I actually have to work tonight, so I think we're gonna go back to the hotel early. Now that's a spoon. Can I actually leave here without this? I don't think this has to come with me. I always try to give these a souvenir because they're so freaking cute. These little Japanese candies. Oh my god, I want all of them. Shut up, is that an okonomiyaki? Yeah. Is that a chicken leg? These are all ohashi holders. That is not a yet. That's a chicken leg. Yeah. This is the coolest shop. They have the coolest chopstick holders ever. I feel like I want the chicken wing though. First cup, 100 yen. Now that's how you get people inside. or something but anyways the first cup of sake is a dollar and that's all you had to say a whole store with cat themes like how i can't even walk by it. i was like don't go inside we won't make it out yo first thing i see traditional cat card cases my favorite color is yellow and i really want this one but like it says geisha on there and if this is a card case and i'm opening my card case and it's geisha like what are you what do you do you know but it's yellow like should i just risk it you think people will think i'm a I mean, if my business card says something, no, because then I'm like, ooh, what do you do on the side? Nah, we ain't we're gonna be safe because I don't want nobody thinking I do stuff after hours. Okay, I'm in love with these little cat hook things, and Ash said it's tacky. This ain't tacky, right? The haters gonna hate. I don't have a whole house of cat stuff. Like, if you got just that, then it works. But if you got like a whole bunch of you a hater, and if you do have a whole bunch of cat stuff, so what? Come on, cats and traditional Japanese stuff? Traditional Japanese cats. Yeah, this is like a million times more lively and amazing than the last time I went. Because the last time we went, it was like COVID-y. You know, everything shut down and stuff. I've never seen this place with this many shops open. So yeah, this is amazing. Oh, stop in there. Got a grammar mistake in sight. But really, I'm just trying to figure out why they look black.
actually not planning on vlogging the like, dinner we we're just gonna grab something real quick because i gotta go work and stuff yeah that was so dang good yeah that was great top quality and it was like only thing open type of thing yeah it's open it looks all right let's go check it out Pfft, that was fire <laughs> meat sauce spaghetti mussels just go 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 it's great that's all i've been doing is eating look at this double look i can tell you had pasta and a freaking appetizer <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 